everybody. This next pattern is called the Bonnet Carry Caddis. It's a Tom Trippy pattern, I think. Tom Trippy tied it in the Federation of Fly Fishers pattern index. So I'll put the recipe in the description and explain the materials as I go. First off, we got size 14. It's a clink hammer hook. You could use any curved hook, any scud hook would look fine. I think curved hook does make the pattern look a little bit better. Now start off, I've got 70 denier UTC so and rusty brown. So lay a base back. We'll have to reposition the hook a couple times in this, like tying any of these curved shank flies. It's uh, sometimes challenging to get get all the way here at the back. So tail is uh, just a few strands of peacock peacock sword fibers, and you want to go well around the bend. So. Get your, your peacock sword fibers, not hurl, sword. So, and it's really just a, a tiny little stub sticking out. So put a wrap in there, see if you get it where you want it, and we will trim those shorter in just a second. So, all right, I like that position just fine. Maybe three wraps to lock it in. Go ahead and take the stubs off and then just maybe maybe not even a quarter of an inch I'd say just uh, probably four millimeters there now the next part is the the body I'm using UTC vinyl rib in size nymph amber color you could use clear clear would be fine um, with the brown base of the thread let's go ahead and uh, flatten that piece out right there now one thing to remember to get or how I get this see that flat I just take a lighter and make a little melt a little bubble on the end then pull it tight snip it off it gives you a flat tie in point but there's one side of this rib is flat and one side's curved so you want the curved side up. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. So let's go a little bit further back than that. Okay. I think that is going to work right there. So now while you do that let's let's go ahead and start the first wrap and see if that's gonna are we gonna get the curved side up yes so if you don't if you have the flat side up I'll show you what that looks like it would look like that and it, and it just won't look as good on the fly so get the curved side up now it's we've got that tied in secure there go ahead and take your thread back up to the eye now I'm not going to use a rotary function here. This is a simple enough pattern, but I will put a half hitch in it just to keep my thread from sliding off. Park it out of the way over here while I wrap this. So get that first wrap. I'm pulling a little bit tighter than first couple wraps, a little bit tighter than the the rest of the wraps just to try to keep the body a little bit more uniform as we are going over that tie on point so bring your body all the way up fairly far up because there's not a whole lot going on in the front of this fly so just maybe an eye length back a couple of tight wraps there Let me get that locked in do another one in front and then another let's go two behind it before I snip this off okay that looks okay now pull this tight get your scissors in there and snip that off now we got a little nub right there we can just bury it pretty tight so now I'm going to build up 
a little bit of a taper going back to that vinyl rib. And I'll show you why in a second. We, the next and last component on that is just some deer hair. And if you if you tie it on, if you have a big bump between your body and where you're tied on, the, the wing will be pointing way up to the top and you want it to be laying a little bit back. So just a fairly small size. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the hair stacker. I don't always do it, but might make a, a little bit of difference here. Okay. Pull any scruffies out. Okay. So clump about that. You can probably go a little bit less than that even, but I'm going to leave it at, at that. Or just go ahead and pull out by hand any of these that aren't, that are obviously the wrong size. So not a long one. Maybe about like that. Now you want your thread hanging at the tie-in point, so let's back that up just a little bit and pinch wrap right here. Now this is going to flare up on you. That's that's part of the head, so let that flare up on you. Now if that's going up too high, that's not necessarily too high, but I'm going to put a couple of medium wraps going back, medium tight wraps right here to try and lower that just a just a little bit. Okay. So I think that one is going to look all right right there. Now we'll just put a couple of wraps underneath this before we trim it off. Now you almost trim this just like a, an elk care caddis. You leave a good bit of this up front as part of the head. So I'm going to pull it tight here and snip it about like that. So that really is your is your head, your wing and your head too. So let's go ahead and maybe one locking wrap through here and then bring that back before we whip finish it. It gives us a little room right there to whip finish. It's not going to take but uh, three or four turn. We can get it behind the eye, but try not to pinch too many of these down like I'm doing now. That's probably going to be fine. As long as you can get your tippet up through there, it'll be all right. So, snip that off, take a look at it. Can I get my tippet through there? Oh, yeah. Now, I'm going to put a just one drop of head cement on the underside right here. Be careful not to get it in your eye, which I do about half the time. So I'm not going to roll it all the way around the, the top, but just cover all those bottom threads. This actually UV resin, so put a torch on it for 10 or 15 seconds. And there you have it. The Bonnet Carry Caddis. Excellent pattern in the tail waters here. Uh, I think it's named after the the Bonnet Carry Spillway, which is a Mississippi River tidal basin, I believe. It's a spillway, diverts it into Lake Pontchartrain. So I don't know what that has to do with, with trout fishing and, and tailwaters up here. Maybe Tom Trippy just named it that because he lives in Louisiana. I don't know. Anyway, excellent pattern. Uh, does great up here in, in Maryland, Western Maryland, the tailwaters of Pennsylvania. Hope you watch. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching.